Number 20 in this list, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. This is a prequel to the Kingdom Hearts series, focusing on three characters and a wonderful world with nice graphics, especially if you upscale it four times or eight times to 4K on your smartphone. By the way, on this channel, I have videos where I show you how to do this on your smartphone and on how to use the PPSS PP emulator. For the rest, this is a very nice game and it's very popular also on the other PlayStation consoles. Now, let's go to number 19 in this list. It's Silent Hill Shattered Memories. This is a psychological horror game with a unique approach to storytelling and gameplay. In this game, as you can see, you walk around it's slow paced, you have to solve some clues and make sure you don't die when monsters attack you and keep searching for clues and solve the mystery. Number 18 in this list, Wipeout Pure. This is a futuristic racing game with a fantastic soundtrack and visuals and nice graphics, also one which is very nice if you upscale it four times or eight times. As you can see, the graphics are wonderful and this has been played on the Samsung S23 Ultra on eight times upscaling. If you like videos like this, by the way, I have some about the top games for racing and so on. Now, number 17 in this list is Valkyria Chronicles 2. This is a tactical RPG with real-time strategy elements. As you can see, you can choose on the map what and how you're gonna do your next steps, and then you have to execute them while playing in the game for real. As you can see here, you can shoot, you can walk around, and you can enjoy strategy and some RPG slash shooting, okay? Now, number 16 in this list is Tactics Ogre Let Us Cling Together. This is a remaster of the classic tactical RPG, even though it looks like a classic game, a real classic game, it looks like a Game Boy Advance game. But this is a strategic RPG where you have to choose your steps first, like playing chess, and then choose your attack and upgrade your skills as you expect an RPG game to be. Now, number 15 is in, in this list is a wonderful game, one I like myself, Burnout Legends. This is a high octane racing game with destructive elements. You can race and crash your opponents until they can drive no more and have to restart. And not only do you have race games, you also have games where you have to make the most spectacular crash possible and do as much damage as you can do with your car. Okay? Now, number 14 in this list is Killzone Liberation. This is a third person shooter with tactical elements. As you can see, you get Grand Theft Auto vibes from the PlayStation 1, but with some better graphics, and you can walk around tactically and shoot your enemies and upgrade your skills and so on. But it's a very nice game to play. It's a relaxing shooter game. Let's say it like this. let's put it like this. And number 13, Ratchet and Clank Size Matters. This is a, no, a very known game, a portable version of the pop popular platformer shooter series from Ratchet and Clank. As you can see, with eight times upscaling, it looks wonderful. Played off a mobile smartphone with the PlayStation 4 controller. Yeah, now let's move on to the next game. Game number 12 on this list is Siphon Filter Dark Mirror. This is a stealth action game with a gripping narrative. Now, note that all these games that I'm showing you are an official list of the most played games and highest rated games. Uh, it's not uh, a list that I would uh, choose myself, but still there are some nice games that I did play or still play right now. Okay, now number 11 in this list is Final Fantasy Tactics The War of the Lions, a tactical RPG with an intricate story and gameplay. Now, as you can see, it's also like uh, the other RPG game we saw on this list. It's a game where you have to choose your moves first, like a chess game, and then choose your attacks and try to destroy your opponent while growing and getting better skills. Okay, now number 10 in this list, Loco Roco. This is a quirky platformer with a unique control mechanics and a charming art style. 
as you can see it was a big uh, bubble uh, orange like thing and then it uh, became some uh, eight or <laughs> nine little things and now to move on it will become that big thing again you can choose that and you can move your controller to the left and right and move your screen like this as you see okay now number nine in this list is luminaise it's a puzzle game combining music and block dropping mechanics uh, in other words, it's a, another uh, variation of Tetris, to be honest. And uh, we all know Tetris is a nice game. There will always be some people who love to play Tetris, even after, I don't know what, 100 years or something. <laughs> now, as for number 8 in this list, it is Dexter. Dexter is a platformer following the adventures of Jack's sidekick. The sidekick Dexter, you can walk around, it's a very beautiful uh, environment. You can walk around, fly around with like uh, rocket uh, shooters and your fire blasters to de defeat the enemies. In the open world, something uh, you can compare with uh, Super Mario 64 or something. It's a game like that, very entertaining for young kids. Okay. Now, number seven on this list, Persona 3 Portable. This is a portable version of the acclaimed JRPG with added features. And what I like about this game is actually the futuristic uh, mechanics and how uh, you play uh, turn-based, but you still can, you still have the nice animations and it's not that old school like the other RPG games we saw in this list. Now for number six, Number 6 is Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, an expensive action RPG with multiplayer capabilities. But in this case, as you can see, it's a very nice game where you have a, a big open world, a beautiful open world by the way, and where you fight monsters and enemies and grow and upgrade your skills and your weapons. Okay, now let's go to number five number five on this list is patapon 3 a rhythm based action game with strategic elements you have to press the buttons at the right moment to move on and fight your enemies to be honest i tried that game i didn't really get it uh, but i <laughs> tried to play a little bit to show to you in this top 20 play psp game list now number four on this game list is metal gear solid Peace Walker, a stealth action game continuing the story of Big Boss. And we all know the Metal Gear Solid series and Snake, this is Snake in the beginning of the game training and showing you how to use your moves to defeat your enemies so you can start the missions and end them with success. It's a very nice game and it gives you the feeling of the other Metal Gear Solid games that you are used to play. Now, number three on this list, Crisis Core Final Fantasy. This is a prequel to the beloved Final Fantasy, focusing on Zack Fair. Actually, this is one of the best RPG games you have for the PSP, in my opinion. Uh, you have very nice graphics, you have a lot of elements, magic, fighting, a lot of skills and weapons you can upgrade, and immense nice graphics and different monsters. I really like this game. And number two, of course, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. The Grand Theft Auto saga uh, also is living on the PSP and this is one of the most popular uh, Grand Theft Auto games on the PSP. Uh, you have very nice graphics when you upscale this one to four or eight times. The gameplay is very nice. The soundtracks are also very nice and nostalgic in this game and you can enjoy your GTA gameplay on your PSP. And number one, number one is God of War Chains of Olympus, a prequel to the original God of War offering intense action and a compelling story. You see the graphics are amazing, the explosions and the fighting scenes are just stunning and the graphics for a PSP game are just wonderful, especially here when you upscale it four or eight times, depends on what you can do, you really can enjoy this game. I hope you enjoyed this top 20, if you like more subscribe to the channel for more uh, smartphone related content.